真我真。Good morning once again. Welcome once again to this moment of worship, moment of praise, moment of thanking God. What a What a beautiful day God has given to us. The Bible says in Psalms 118, verse 24, This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Also, the Bible says the mercies of God are new each and every morning. Today, the, today and this morning, we're experiencing the mercies of God. Today and this morning, we're experiencing the goodness of God because the Bible says goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And this day, we shall experience this goodness. This day, we shall experience his mercy. And that's why you shall rejoice and be glad in it. What a joy. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful morning that God has given to us. May we take this opportunity to thank God for this morning. May we take opportunity to give him praise. May we take opportunity to adore him and to command this day that his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 92, Psalms chapter 92 verse 1 and 2, this is what it says, it is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praise, praises to your name, O Most High to declare your good loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. That is the word of God. That is what the Bible says this morning. How it is good to, to, to give thanks to the Lord. It is good to sing praises to his name, the most high, to declare that his loving kindness in the morning. May we declare the loving kindness of God this morning. May we declare his love towards us. May we declare his love towards our family. To, may, may we declare his love towards the body of Christ Jesus. May we declare his love towards this nation because he's good. It's good to give thanks to the Lord. It's good to worship him it's good to praise him it's good to adore him it's good to give him to worship and acknowledge him because it is by his mercies that we are living. The Bible says, by his compassion we are not consumed. Yes, sickness has not consumed us. Poverty has not consumed us because by his compassion we have we have been, we have been sustained. By his compassion we have been upheld. God is on our side. If God is for us, who else can be against us? May we read it once again, Psalms 92. Let's read it once again, Psalms 92, verse 1 and 2. It is good to give thanks to the Lord. It is good. It is something which is honorable. It's something that is it's appreciated. It's something that we, we should, it should be our life set to give thanks. The Bible says, and to sing praises to your name, almost high. Look at verse 2. To declare your loving kindness in the morning. God has shown us his loving kindness. God has shown us his kindness. God has shown us his love. He has sustained us. He has protected us. He has been there for us. He has been with us. Hallelujah. It is good to give thanks for that. And your faithfulness every night. The night. God has been so faithful throughout the night. He has protected us. He has given us. He has provided for us. He has sustained us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship and we give you praise. We adore you, O God, today, Master, and we glorify your holy name, O God. My Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, Christ, Holy Father, we adore you, we lift up your holy name, we magnify your name, we worship you because you alone are worth your God. You alone are worth all the glory, you alone are worth all the praise, you alone are worth all the adoration, Jehovah God, the Master. My Lord, my God, today, Father, I come to you, O God, the Father, saying thank you for your protection, O God. Thank you, dear Father, for sustaining sustaining us, O oh God. Thank you, dear Father, for providing us on Jehovah God and the Master. Thank you, dear Father, for saving us on Jehovah God and the Master. Thank you, dear Father, for keeping watch over us on Jehovah God and the Master. For surely your goodness and mercy, O oh dear Father, has sustained us, O oh dear Master, has followed us, O oh dear Master, on this day, O oh Jehovah God and the Master. And this morning, O oh God and the Father, we declare your loving kindness towards us on Jehovah God and the Master. My Lord, my God, we are alive because of your love, O oh God. We are provided because of your love, O oh God. O oh dear Father, you are sustained, O oh dear Father, because of of your loving kindness and Jehovah God and the Master. We are saved on the Father because of your loving kindness on the Master. My Lord, my God, this morning, oh God, the Father, as your word has said to the Master, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, and forget not his benefit. My Lord, my God, your benefit on the Father has been so evident in our lives, oh God. Father, you have forgiven us all our iniquities on Jehovah God and the Master. That on the Father, no generation cast on the Father has followed us on Jehovah God and the Master. You have sustained us on the Father, you have protected us, you have delivered us on Jehovah God and the Master from the 
God of wickedness on their father of iniquity, Jehovah God and the master. And for this reason, oh dear Father, we praise you and we adore you, oh God. My Lord, my God, oh dear Father, you have delivered our life from the pit, oh dear Father, from destruction, oh Jehovah God and the master. My Lord, my God, you have fulfilled our mouth, oh dear Father, with food stuff, oh dear Father, with good stuff, oh dear Father, that our youth is renewed, oh Jehovah God and the master. My Lord, my God, for this reason, we praise you, Jehovah God and the master. You have healed us, oh dear Father, of all our sickness, oh Jehovah God and the master. Father, you have said in your word, oh dear master, none of this sickness shall come towards us, oh dear master. And for this reason, Father, we thank you, dear Father, because you have sustained us, oh God. We thank you, dear Father, because of your loving kindness, oh dear master. We thank you, oh God, dear Father, because you have preserved us, oh Jehovah God, dear master. And most of Jehovah God, you have preserved our going out and you are coming in, oh God. You have protected us, oh dear master. And you have blessed us in our going out and you have blessed us in our coming in, oh dear master. And this reason, and this morning, for this reason, I give you praise. I sing praises to your name, oh Jehovah God, dear master. I adore you, oh God, dear master. Receive the honor, receive the majesty, Jehovah God, the master. Receive the glory, Jehovah God, the master. My Lord, my God, the Father, we lift up our holy hands of the master, saying, You are worthy to be praised, O oh God. You are worthy to receive our glory, O oh God. You are worthy to receive our, our honor, Jehovah God, the master. Receive the honor, receive the praise, O oh dear master. We lift up our hands, O oh dear Father, and sing, Thank you, dear master, for your goodness, O oh God. Thank you, dear Father, for sustaining us, O oh God. Thank you, dear Father, for keeping us, O oh God. Thank you for providing to us, O oh dear master. Thank you, dear master, for making us your own, O oh dear master. You have called us your own, O oh dear master. Thank you for adapting us, O oh dear Father, to the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, the master. And even you are not ashamed to call us your sons of Jehovah God and the master. And for this reason, we bless you and we praise you, dear master. Oh, Father, be praised, oh God. Be blessed, oh dear master. Be adored, oh dear master. Be glorified, oh God. Be worshipped and be lifted on high, Jehovah God and the master. Holy, holy is you, Jehovah God and the master. Receive the glory, receive the praise. We receive the majesty, Jehovah God and the master. How majestic is your name this morning, oh God. We thank you, Jehovah God and the Master. Thank you, dear Father, as we declare, oh God, your loving kindness towards us this morning, oh God, and your faithfulness, oh dear Master, every night, oh dear Master, that we every morning we shall continue to experience your loving kindness, oh dear Master, and every night, oh dear Master, we shall thank you, dear Master, for your protection, oh Jehovah God and the Master, your faithfulness that we shall watch over us, oh dear Master. I give you the praise, I give you the honor, in the name of Jesus. Psalms 37 verse 25. Psalms 37 verse 25. Psalms chapter 37 verse 25. This is what it says. I have been young I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. David says he has been young and now he has advanced in age. And there's something so remarkable, there's something so noticeable, there's something that he has seen that it cannot be denied. That Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. You and me this morning, we have been made righteous in Christ Jesus. We have been made righteous. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We have been made righteous. And he's speaking to you and me that, that during his days, he had never, yet I have never, that's what he said, yet I have not seen the righteous been forsaken. Then he continues to say, nor is descendants begging bread. This is speaking to you and me saying this. Since you are righteous, and it's something that God has never done to forsake the righteous. God has never forsaken the righteous. King David, in his, this word, is saying, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Not even a single one. You and me is giving us comfort. God is speaking to us that we shall never be forsaken. Nor shall God forsake you. 
because you are the righteous of God. You, are, you have been made righteous in Christ Jesus. So there's no way God has fors will forsake you because he cannot deny his personality. He cannot deny himself. He cannot deny his character. He cannot deny what he has purpose to do. God has said, he shall never leave you nor forsake you. He cannot forsake you. He cannot forsake you. Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. Joshua 1, 5. This is what it says. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. What is it that is standing before you? What is it that is challenging your life this morning? What is it that is going against your purpose and your will? What is it that is opposing you? The Bible says, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. At times we face challenges of life and we see as if God has forsaken us. At times we face opposition and see as if God is forsaken us. The Bible said this morning, and I want to give hope to my brother, to you, my sister. God will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I shall be with you. I shall be with you to defend you, to fight for you, to fight for you. I shall fight your battles and to give you victory. I am with you. At times we are facing financial challenges. At times we are facing some difficulties in life. Bible say, yes, you may feel that you are forsaken. Bible say, I shall never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. Deuteronomy 1, 36. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. The Bible say, upon a witness of two or three shall a word be established. So this word is being established in our life because it has been referenced in so many places. Deuteronomy, verse 6. He said, be strong and be of good courage. Do not fear for, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. He said, be strong. The, whatever challenges you are facing, the Bible said, be strong and be courageous. No, no, don't fear the situation that you are facing. Don't fear the situation you are facing. Do not be afraid of them. Do not be discouraged. Be of good courage. Do not be discouraged. You see, I'm the one who goes with you. God is going with you this morning. God is going with you this morning. You see, I shall never leave you nor forsake you. I shall never leave you nor forsake you. God is comforting us this morning. We are facing some challenges. We are facing hard times. We are saying as if God is not there, as if you are forgotten. He said, be strong and be of good courage. Do not fear. I am the one who goes with you. I shall never leave you nor forsake you. He's there to help us. He's there to be, he's, God is there on our side. God is there to encourage us. God is there to give us strength. He goes on to say in the book of Isaiah 41 verse 10. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear not for I am with you. Be not be dismayed for I am your God. I will help I will. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. God is comforting us this morning. In that lack, God is saying, I am with you. In that sense, maybe you are you seeing as if your marriage is falling apart. God is saying, I am there with you. I will encourage you. I will do, be of good courage. I shall never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, you are my righteous person. I shall uphold you. Whatever challenges you are facing, God is saying, yes, I have not forsaken you. You say, you may say, you may, maybe you are crying for your children. You are saying your children are getting lost, are getting destroyed. The Bible says, I am there with you. I am there, I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I have not forsaken you. What you need to do, to do this one is just to lift up our hands. It's to lift up and say, thank you, Jesus, for you have not forsaken me. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. God is still speaking to us. See, let, let, you, let your conduct be without covetousness. 
Be content with such things as you have. For he himself said, I will, not, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, you may find some insufficiency with the finances that you have. You may say that it's not enough. How will I make ends meet? God is saying, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Is there to do a miracle? Is there to provide for you? Is there to feed you? The Bible says where we have just read is Psalms 37, verse 25. The last, the last part is saying, No, his descendants begging bread. Yes, your children shall never beg for bread. Your children shall never beg, beg for food. Any basic need, your children shall never beg for them. Yes, even that school fees will say you are lucky this morning. Bible says your children shall never beg bread. You know, it's descendant begging for bread begging bread. Bread means something that is sustainable. Bread means food. Bread means that basic need. God said, your children shall never beg for that basic need. God is there to provide. God is there to give us whatever we need. May we thank God this morning. May we say, may we confess this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, dear Master, because you have said in your word, oh God, that you shall never leave us nor forsake us, oh dear Master. Yes, David was saying, and now he's old, oh dear Master. He has confessed that, oh dear Father, he has never seen you, oh God, oh dear Father, forsaking them that are righteous, oh God. And this morning we thank you, oh dear Master, because you have made us righteous in Christ Jesus, oh dear Master, that, oh dear Father, our children shall never beg bread, oh dear Master. Our children shall never beg, oh dear Father, the basic need, oh God. Our children shall never lack, oh dear Master, because we are Lord God who provides, oh God. You are Lord God who said we should never be discouraged, oh dear Master. We should be we should be of good courage, oh dear Master. We should not be afraid, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. We should fear not to their master because you are not God who goes with us on their master. You are not God who is with us on King of God that we shall never leave us nor forsake us on Jehovah God and the master. Yes, so therefore we may be facing challenges this morning but in this morning we thank you dear master because you have comforted us on their master said that in that situation that you are in oh God, in that difficulty that you are in oh God, in that oh dear father, oh dear father opposite, opposi oh dear father, in that opposition that you are facing oh God, that you are there with us on their master. You are there dear father, we have said you shall never leave us nor forsake us on their master. You are there, oh dear Father, to help us, oh dear Father, to strengthen us, oh Jehovah God and the Master. You are there, oh dear Father, to uphold us, oh Jehovah God and the Master. You are there to help us, oh Jehovah God and the Master. My Lord, my God, oh dear Father, thank you, dear Master, that, oh dear Master, this morning we shall lift our eyes, oh dear Master, and look unto Jesus, who is the author and, and finisher of our faith, oh dear Master, the one who goes with us, and the one who helps us, oh Jehovah God and the Master. I thank you, dear Master, because you are helping us this morning. I thank you, dear Master, because you are encouraging us this morning. I thank you, dear Father, because you are strengthening us this morning. I thank you, dear Master, because you are opening door for us this morning to provide for us, oh dear Master, to fight for our battles, oh God, to fight, oh dear Father, for our marriages, oh God, oh dear Father, to give us victory, oh dear Master, to defend us, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. I thank God, dear Master, because you are God with us, oh dear Master. Your name is Emmanuel, oh God. You are God with us, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. This morning, you are Lord God, oh dear Father, who is with us, oh God, King of God. Oh dear Father, thank you, dear Master, because you are helping us, oh God. Thank you, dear Master, because you are encouraging us, oh God. Thank you, dear Master, because you are comforting us, oh God. Thank you, dear Father, because you are strengthening us, oh King of God. Oh dear Father, in our situation, oh God, you are there with us, oh dear Master. You are there with us, oh dear Master. And I thank you, dear Master, because you have not forsaken us, oh dear Master. And we shall not forsake us, oh dear Master. Glory and honor, dear Father, be to your name. I thank you, dear Master, because, oh God, you in our situation, oh God, in our difficulties, oh God, in our challenges, oh God, in, oh dear Father, in, in the hardship that we may be facing, oh God, you are there with with us, oh dear Master, to help us, oh dear Master, and to be, oh dear Father, to assist us, oh dear Master, to strengthen us, oh dear Master, and to provide for us, oh dear Master, and to open doors for us, oh King of God. I thank you, dear Master, because, oh dear Master, our children shall never beg bread, oh God. Our descendants shall never beg bread, oh God. And we shall never lack because we are Lord God, who is our provider, oh dear Master. I thank you and I worship you in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 45, verse 2. And three. I will go before you and make the crooked place straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I am that I the Lord who call you by your name, I am the God of Israel. I will go before you, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Oh, Zakata Rabasmi. I will go before you and make the crooked place straight. I will go before you. You see, God is speaking to somebody this morning. God is speaking to us this morning. You see, I will go before you. Which means that you are not the one who shall start the journey. God is the one who is ahead of you. You see, I will go before you. Not, not just to go ahead of you or to go before you. He is going ahead of you or it's going before you with a purpose. To straighten the crooked place. That road that is so crooked, that is so mountainous, is up and down and so crooked. It's so meandering. God is saying, I'm going to make it straight and to level every mountain. It's going to make it so that you, 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 your work should be free. Your journey should be so smooth. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say, I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will go before you to make straight the crooked places. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze. What does it mean? Whatever is a barrier to you, whatever is a hiddenness for you to climb that corporate ladder, whatever is a barrier for you to achieve whatever you need to achieve, business breakthrough, you see that that barrier, that hiddenness, that crooked pl places, that iron bronze of um, gate of bronze, that iron bars, God is going to break them into pieces, which means that He's going to make you to achieve whatever you need to achieve effortless, without much effort, without much hindrance, without much obstacle, without much barrier. Because any gate that is making a barrier that's a hindrance to your breakthrough is, is a hindrance to your success, is a hindrance for you achieving your goal, your target. God is going to say, I'm going to break it this morning in the name of Jesus. That, that those gates of bronze, that iron bars, that barrier, those barricades, God is going to break them into pieces in the name of Jesus. Why is he going to do that? So that you can have the the treasures of, I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden treasures of secret places. Those barriers, not hid, that whatever is hidden in you to achieve, whatever you need to achieve, God is going to make them bear to you. Those hidden treasures, those riches that are hidden in secret places, God is going to make them available to you. What is it that what is it that has denied you to achieve whatever you need to achieve? What, what barrier, what is hindering you to achieve whatever you need to achieve? What is that obstacle? What is that mountain is so high that you cannot climb? God is going to level it today in the name of Jesus. Just call on the name of the Lord. What, what is that barrier? What is that hindrance? What is it that is, you need to achieve? What is that? What is that? What is that expectation? What, is, what are your expectations that you said you want to realize and you are being bad? You see, it's a mountain that even the bank cannot finance you. Even the financial institution has said we are unable to give it to you, to give you these treasures. What is it? You need that loan. You need that loan to finance your business. You need that loan to, to achieve. What you to achieve your investment goals? What is it that is hindering that the the, the, the bank may see the financial institution that we need a collateral? God, God, may God open that door. May God remove that obstacle. May God remove that barrier. May God lift that mountain. May God level that mountain in the name of Jesus. May that crooked places be made straight in the name of Jesus. What is it that you? You, you want, yes, you want that shop, you want that shop, you want that shop so bad, bad, but the tenant, the landlord is unable to give it to you because you don't have that goodwill to pay. You don't have that deposit to give. God is giving it to you now in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, we need that promotion, but we don't have that in the prerequisite papers. Yes, we may, you may not have that certificate, that degree. God is removing those, those obstacles, those rules in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, we need that job, but you, but but they're saying they wanted they wanted them to be caught up. They wanted to caught up them so that you may achieve that employment. God is removing it in the name of Jesus. Zeki katanaba soko katanaba sanda. Rima katanaba soko kotoro wa shekete. Rika mama mama kotoro wa shekete. Rima katanaba sanda. My Lord, my God, we remove every collateral to finance that Lord in the name of Jesus. We remove that obstacle that our oh dear master may hinder your people from receiving that, that financing in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, we make those stretches available to your people this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh King of glory. My Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh King of glory. My Lord, my God, I pray for them that, O oh dear master, may that shop of God. But, O oh dear Father, they don't have that goodwill to pay Jehovah God, O oh dear master. They, O oh dear Father, them that are demanding goodwill of God, we remove that, O oh dear Father, that condition in the name of Jesus. Father, that, O oh dear Father, that much deposit of six months of God, we remove it right now in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray for your people, God, that they need that promotion on Jehovah God and the Master, but they may not need they, have, they, may, they may not be having of God or the Master, that certificate so they have that degree of God. My Lord, my God, we speak favor upon them in the name of Jesus. Father, we speak grace upon them in the name of Jesus. Them that need the employment of God. Father, I pray, oh God, their Father, for that door to open of God. Every corruption, every bread of their Father may be demanded of God in the name of Jesus to lift it up in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for them that oh their Father need visas of their Father to go abroad, oh God. My Lord, my God, oh their Master, we speak favor to our God, oh their Master, with the, oh their Father upon their lives, oh their Father, with the diplomats, oh their Father, with those embassies in the name of Jesus, because oh their Master. My Lord, my God, every obstacle, every mountain, oh Jehovah God, oh their Master, every banner, every bronze, oh, gate of bronze, oh their Father, every iron bars, oh God. Father, we pray, may you break them into pieces in the name of Jesus, because oh their Master. I pray, oh God, may you level that mountain, oh dear Father, for your people, oh God. Level that mountain for your people in the name of Jesus, Christ, oh King of God. My Lord, my God, every obstacle, God. Father, I pray, God, may it be cancelled, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, oh God, may every God, may every bronze, oh God, oh dear Father, gates of bronze, oh dear Father, be broken into pieces, oh dear Master. May every iron bars be broken into pieces, oh God. May every mountain be leveled, oh God. May, oh God, 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 May every mountain be leveled, oh dear Father. May every crooked place, oh dear Father, be made straight, oh God. Father, you are the one who have said, oh dear Father, you are the one who goes before us, oh God. Father, as we go, oh dear Father, we go out to venture, oh dear Master, into our breath. May you come before us, oh dear Master, and deliver every mountain, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master, may you go before that brother, oh God. May you go before that sister, Jehovah God, and the Master. May you go before the, your people, Jehovah God, and the Master. May every, oh dear Father, crooked place, oh dear Father, be made straight this morning in the name of Jesus. May every mountain be leveled of God. May every banner, every obstacle dear Father, in form of bronze, bronze of gates, gates of bronze of God, iron bars of their master, be broken into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ of their master. The most sought, the most sought after their Father, treasures of God, may they be available to us on Jehovah God of the master. The hidden the hidden riches of their Father in the secret place of their master, may you make them available to us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of their master. Father, I thank you, dear Master, because you are going before us, oh God. In that interview, Jehovah God, you are going ahead of us, oh dear Master. That, oh dear Father, we shall go with your favor, dear Master. That application you are writing this morning, oh God, oh dear Father, that application, oh dear Father, for the sources, for the riches, for the treasure to make available to us, oh God. Father, I pray, oh God, that, oh dear Father, you shall find favor, Jehovah God, oh dear Master. That application, oh God, that proposal, Jehovah God, oh dear Master. That, oh dear Father, we are, oh dear Father, we are, we are setting it forth for Jehovah God, oh dear Master. We are presenting it forth for the Master. Father, I speak your grace and favor, dear Master. May you walk ahead of us, oh dear Master. In, speak to the hearts of these people, dear Master, that we shall be given a favorable answer in the name of Jesus, because of the Master. Because of so doing, oh dear Master, it is not our doing, oh God, but it is by your grace, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master, that you are going ahead of us, oh dear Master. I thank you and I worship you. I give you praise. I give you adoration. In the name of Jesus, because of the Master. Thank you for the breakthrough in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for us, for us as the church. You are the church. I am the church. 
and we pray for the entire body of Christ Jesus. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 and 15 and 16. I want us to examine our life this morning. I want us to look inside us this morning. The way the Bible says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but, but to be thrown out and be trapped under the foot of men. Underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lamps and, 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 and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Sometimes I was challenging ourselves, how many of us, because of the salvation that is in us, has affected people around us and given, and given thanks to God and glorified God and your lifestyle has made them accept Jesus to be Lord and Savior. How, how flavored are we as the salt that has affected the life of men in our family, in our homestead, in a place of business, in our neighborhood? I want us to examine ourselves briefly and how, how has our salvation, how has our walk, how has the light in us, how has the salt in us affected our neighborhood, affected them that lives with us, affected our people at our workplace, our workmate. I want us this morning just to examine ourselves. Are we the salt of the society? Are we pre preserving? Are we reconciling? Are we adding tests? Are we giving a meaning when there is no meaning? Are we giving hope when there is no hope? Because we are the light and the salt of this world. Are we giving a meaning where there is no meaning? Are we giving hope where there is no hope? How, how is our salt, our flavor of salt affecting the society, affecting the community, preserving and reconciling, adding test? Are we adding test wherever we are going? Are we having that flavor? We get this verb said we are the salt. Are we bringing light where there is so much darkness? Where there's so much corruption, where there's so much immorality, where there's so much perversion, pervert character. Are we, are we making light? Are we giving the light? Are we giving hope? Are we adding taste? Are we giving meaning to this corrupt society? We need to examine ourselves. How is our work? How is our conduct? Are you people saying, because of so and so? I was walking in darkness, now I'm walking in the light. Has corruption or has immorality or has pervert behavior? Because of you being in that place, things have changed. We need to examine ourselves. We are the salt and the light of the world. I'm challenging myself also this morning. As I'm challenging ourselves, I'm also challenging myself. Let, let us add flavor. Let us add taste. Let's bring meaning. Let's bring hope. Let's bring reconciliation to this corrupt society. This broken society. God is looking on us. God is counting on us. Let us not remain silent. Let us not just say that salvation is about you. We are called to be the salt. We are called to be the light. We need to shine everywhere we go in the name of Jesus. We need to constantly affect the society in the name of Jesus. We need to impact this society. How many of us, how many of our neighborhood know that we're born again? How many of our friends know that we're born again? How many are admiring our work? Are we, are, we, are we the ones who are bringing solution to the problem or we are adding a problem? We are adding to the problem. We need to examine ourselves. How are we affecting this society? How are we challenging this society? How is the banner of the Jesus being lifted up through our lives, in our lives? Because where, where we are in our marketplace, in our place of work, in our homes, we are the light and we are the salt. We need to bring hope. We need to give a meaning. We need to add taste. 
We need to preserve this society because God is counting on us. We cannot hide our light under the, under the, under the basket. We need to shine. We cannot remain silent that we are born again is about you and you alone. We need to bring purpose into this society. God is counting on you. God is counting on us in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, thank you, dear Master, for challenging us, oh God, concerning, oh God, dear Father, that we are the light of this world, oh dear Master. We are the world, we are the light of Jehovah, God, dear Master. We are the light, we have said, you are the light of the world, oh God. Father, you have called us, oh dear Father, to be the light of this world, oh God. Father, you have called me to be the light of this world, oh God. That, oh dear Master, I need to shine, oh God, that people may see the light, oh dear Master, in me, oh God, oh dear Father, I need to give light to the world, oh God. I need to give light, oh dear Father, to the society, Jehovah God, oh dear Master, that when the people see me, Jehovah God, oh dear Master, they see Christ Jesus, oh dear Master, they see the purposes of God, oh dear Master, I bring light, oh dear Father, where there is darkness, oh God, I bring light, oh dear Father, where there is, oh dear Father, pervert, oh dear Master, I bring light, oh dear Father, where there is pervert conduct, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master, where there is corruption, oh dear Father, I need to give light, oh God. I need to give light in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. I need to add test, oh dear Master, because you have called me, oh God, oh dear Father, and that, that we are the salt of the earth, oh dear Master. This earth depends on us, oh dear Master, that we may add flavor, Jehovah God, oh dear Master, that we may add test, oh dear Master, that we may add a meaning, oh God, oh dear Master, to this earth, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. Father, I pray, Jehovah God, oh dear Father, forgive us, oh dear Master, we have failed to give flavor, dear Master. Forgive us, oh dear Master, we have failed to give light on Jehovah God and the Master. Forgive us, O dear Master, we have hidden the light under the basket of God. Forgive us, O dear Father, we have failed to do what you have called us to do, Jehovah God and the Master. To be the salt of the earth, to be the light of the world, O Jehovah God and the Master. Forgive us, O dear Father, we have failed to bring hope when there is no hope of God. Forgive us, O dear Master, we have failed to give a meaning when there is no meaning of God. Forgive us, O dear Father, we have failed, O Jehovah God and the Master, O dear Father, to bring preservation, O dear Master, to bring reconciliation, O God, to bring, O dear Master, light, O Jehovah Father, God, the Father, where the light needed us, oh dear Master, to stop that corrupt behavior, dear Master, to stop that immorality, Jehovah God, the Master, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master, I pray, Jehovah God, the Father, may you give us that courage, oh God, may you give us that strength, oh dear Master, may you give us that, oh dear Master, that, oh dear Master, that, oh dear Master, that, oh dear Father, that drive, oh dear Father, that desire, Jehovah God, the Master, to be the light and to be the sword, oh dear Father, of this world, oh dear Master. Father, you said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men, oh God. Father, as we follow you, oh God, may you turn us, O dear Master, we convert us, O dear Father, to be features of men, O dear Master, that we may not walk in fear, O dear Master. We may not fail, O dear Father, to display the light in us, O God. We may not fail, O dear Father, to add salt, O dear Master, that, O dear Father, because we are the salt of the earth, O dear Master, that, O dear Master, we need, O dear Father, to offer to this society, O dear Master, what, O dear Father, your purpose is to be, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O dear Master. I thank you, O dear Master. I thank you, O dear Master. May we arise and shine, O dear Master, for the light has come, O God. Thank you, O dear Father, for speaking into our heart this morning, oh dear Master, that we need to arise and shine, oh God. We need to arise and shine for the light has come, oh dear Master, and the glory of the Lord has risen, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. I thank you and I worship you. I give you praise, I give you adoration, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 118 verse 25. Psalms 118 verse 25. Let's pray for the nation. I want us to pray for the nation. We are not receiving any good news at all. Food crisis, inflation, bankrupts rising up, cost of living going high, we need to pray for this nation. Oh Lord, I pray, send now your prosperity. Save now, oh Lord. Save now, I pray, oh Lord. Oh Lord, I pray, send your prosperity. We need to pray God to send now his prosperity. We need to pray now God to save this country, Kenya. Cost of living is going high. The other day we had, a day or two ago we had, excess duty has gone up, which means the cost of living has gone up. The other day we had, Bank, Central Bank of Kenya has increased the lending rate. 
which means borrowing from the financial institution will be very costly, which shall translate the cost of living, the cost of product will go high because it shall be passed to the consumer. Cost. The other day we had God, uh, the government has removed subsidies on the most essential products, food stuff, petroleum products. The government has removed subsidies, which means the cost of living is going to be expensive. I pray in the name of Jesus. May we pray God to save now this nation and to send his prosperity. To just pray, may mention it, mention this economy to God, mention the economy of the country to God in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, oh God, may you save us now, save us now, save us now, oh God, save us now in the name of Jesus, save us now in the name of Jesus, save us now in the name of Jesus, save us now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, send your prosperity, oh God. My Lord, my God, oh dear Father, as you hear news on Jehovah God and the Master, that oh dear Master are down seven counties, oh God, they're facing starvation, oh God, which means, oh dear Father, the shortness have failed on Jehovah God and the Master. There is no sufficient instant is jumped, oh God. In some parts, oh dear Father, we are experiencing, oh dear Father, floods, oh dear Master, that oh dear Father is destroying food crop in the farm on Jehovah God and the Master. The harvest, oh dear Father, is becoming less and less, oh God, which is translating, oh dear Master, to the cost of living, very expensive of God, which is beyond oh dear Father, many many households rich or oh king of God. Father, we have had oh dear Master, the government oh dear Father has increased excess due to oh dear Master on some product or oh king of God. The cost of living of oh God is going high in Jehovah God and the Master. Oh Father, may you save this economy of Kenya, Jehovah God and the Master. I think Jehovah God, may you send your prosperity to this nation of oh God. Send your prosperity to this nation in the name of Jesus, because of oh your Master. Send your prosperity to this nation in the name of Jesus, because of oh your Master. Let there be sufficient rain, oh dear master. Let there be a bumper harvest, oh dear master. May you bless the crops, oh dear father, in the land of God. May you bless the crops in this land in the name of Jesus, because of oh your master. May you bless this economy of God. Bless our oh dear father, tourism economy. Bless our oh dear father, agriculture economy. Bless our oh dear father, education economy, oh dear master. Bless our oh dear father, manufacturing sector, Jehovah God, oh dear master. Father, I do pray in the name of Jesus, because of oh your master. Oh dear father, importation cost, oh dear father, is becoming so expensive, oh dear master. Because because, oh dear Father, scarcity, oh dear Father, foreign currency, oh God. My Lord, my God, I do pray this morning, may you bless this nation of Kenya, oh dear Master. Remember mercy upon this nation of God. Remember forgiveness, oh dear Father, upon this nation of God. Have mercy upon this nation, Jehovah God, oh dear Master. Remember your people this morning, oh God, that, oh dear Father, work passing through hard time, oh dear Master, even to put a meal on the table, oh dear Father, is becoming, oh dear Father, a struggle, Jehovah God, oh dear Master. Remember us, oh dear Father, and save us now, oh God. Remember us, oh dear Father, and have mercy on us, oh God. Remember us, O Jehovah God and the Master, and intervene in our situation of God. Father, dear Father, you have said in your word, O dear Master, and dear Father, you have heard the cry of the children of Israel, O dear Master. You have seen, O dear Father, the affliction, O dear Master. And for this reason, you have come to know, dear Father, to deliver them, O dear Master. Likewise, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O dear Master, may you come down, O dear Father, and save the situation in this nation of God. May you come down and save us, O King of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O dear Master. The cost of the cooking oil, O dear Father, is rising so high, Jehovah God and the Master. Remember mercy upon this nation of God. Save us now in the name of Jesus. Save us now in the name of Jesus. Save us now in the name of Jesus, because of their Master. Save us now in the name of Jesus, because of God. Have mercy on us, O God. Have mercy on us, O King of glory. Remember mercy, Jehovah God and the Master. Forgive us, O Jehovah God and the Father, you have done or wrong, O God. Forgive us, O dear Father, of corruption, O God. Forgive us, O dear Father, of bribery, O dear Master. Forgive us, O dear Master, for unjust behavior, O dear Master and save us and have mercy on us, O oh dear Master, and forgive us and heal this land in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh dear Master, and heal this land in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh dear Master, and heal us in the name of Jesus, heal us in the name of Jesus, heal us in the name of Jesus, heal us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, heal this land in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh dear Master, and have mercy on us, O oh God. Oh, Father, remember mercy, O oh King of God, remember mercy, Jehovah God, and the Master, send your prosperity, O oh God, send your prosperity in Northeastern of God. Send your prosperity to the master in the eastern province of God. Send your prosperity in the coast province of God. Send your prosperity in the larger Rift Valley of the master. Send your prosperity
prosperity, oh God, oh dear Father, in the oh dear Father, in Western Kenya, God, send your prosperity in Nyanza, Jehovah God, the Master, send your prosperity in the central province of God, send your prosperity, oh God, oh dear Father, in Nairobi province of God, send your prosperity, oh dear Father, from east to west of oh God, from behind, from the lowland to highlands of oh your Master, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh King of God, remember us, oh Jehovah God, the Master, remember this nation of Kenya, Jehovah God, the Master, remember this nation of Kenya, oh dear Master, save us now, save us now, dear Master. Oh, Father, may everything, oh, dear Father, be you, be, be, be within it, each other, dear Master. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, dear Master, we need your prosperity, oh, God, in this nation of, of Kenya, dear Master, in this economy, oh, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, dear Master, I thank you and I worship in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God has heard us, God has ministered to us, God is serving Kenya, God is ministering to this nation, God is removing every barrier. Everybody I believe has been removed. God has not forsaken us. He's going to intervene in our situation. May we thank God with our offering and as a sign of appreciation and thanksgiving. We can do that through two ways. Either through Mpesa details are there on the screen or we can do it through bank transactions. The details are there on the screen. May God bless you and bless you indeed. May you walk in victory and in breakthrough. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.